And then she kissed me. So if you've been following my channel for the last few days, I did a series of videos talking about when a first kiss gets rejected, does that mean you should continue to try to see her or should you not? Now, the original guy that wrote me, he had written me saying basically she, he'd gone out on a first date with a girl, tried to kiss her, and then she tried to tell him that she wasn't trying to rush things. In the past, when she rushed things, it didn't work out. And so she was trying to take her time. And so he had asked me if he should try to still get a second date with her, if she was still interested. And ultimately, I said, yes, I gave reasons as to why a first kiss may not happen. And a lot of you guys responded and saying, if she doesn't kiss on the first date, she's out of here. She has no interest. It's not going to happen. She's playing games. Don't spend any energy, time, whatever, blah, 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 right? Well, that guy gave me an update on his situation, and spoiler, guys, he got a little kissy and more. So I'm not going to get the full details because I'm, I'm going to switch up some of the details because he wrote me the response initially in the comment that said, oh, I went on a second date and I got kissed, and I said, please, please, please share me the details. So just in case she ever happens to find these mess th this video, I'm going to alter the details of what went down, all right? But here's the story, right? So he said, basically what happened is I took her to Dave and Buster's. She said, and where she's from, they didn't have them, never been to one before. And so it was going to be a new experience. So they played a few games. He says, I played a few, we just played a few games, uh, caught up with events that happened over the week. And I flirted with her for the first quarter of the date. I made no attempts to kiss her nor mention the idea of a kiss, okay? So he didn't bring it up. He learned from the first date, hey, Harry said when she's ready, she'll let him know. So I'm just going to go with that. I'm going to write it out. That's what I told him. And he did that. So he had a good time with her, didn't bring him a kiss. They're like midway through the date. At some point in the date, he says, she started to hug me and then gave me a peck on the cheek. He said, I did not think too much about it. All I knew was she was having the time of her life. So what happened here, guys? This is another example of what I talk about, where if you're doing the right things to make her feel comfortable, to show that you're a trustworthy guy, you're showing her a fun time, making her laugh, you're bringing up positive emotions, then what's going to happen in her body is those positive emotions are going to start to bubble over to the point where it's going to be like, my God, this guy's just making me feel so good. I need to show him in some way that I'm having such a good time. And then of her own accord, she just decides to kiss you. Now, picture if this is on, this is date number two. If on date number two, he's still being like, oh, I got to try to push my agenda to get a kiss and I got to make it happen. He would be writing me saying, I still didn't get the kiss. And now she doesn't want to see me. She's not returning my text. What's going on? Because I get those kind of messages from guys all the time that are rushing the process. But because he decided to lay back and be a little bit patient and not be focused. Notice, he was not focused on getting a kiss. He was focused on showing her the best possible time that he could and seeing what the outcome would be. And it just so happens when you show women a really good time and you're focusing on how to make them have a good time, that they're going to want to re reciprocate by also giving you a good time, which could include her wanting to kiss you. Now, you guys are thinking, but Harry, it was just a peck on the cheek. Let's continue the story. Fast forward to another particular game. She basically kicked my butt the entire time. After she beat me for the third time, she came over to me and we started making out. For the remainder of the night, she was very touchy-feely and we had multiple make-out sessions. Heck, we made out again when I walked her to her car. She expressed interest in another date and text me later that night that I gave her one of the absolute best nights since moving to this town. Needless to say, there will be a third date. So look, I press this because some of you guys that are inexperienced really do think and feel that every single time a girl is not ready to kiss you on a first date, it means that she's not interested. And to be fair, your history may have taught you that. Hey, I know early on, if I wasn't getting a kiss on the first date, it usually meant that the girl wasn't interested, at which point... I would try to ask for future dates and I would not get them. But that's why I learned the best way for me to tell if a woman 
actually had a good time on the first date in spite of not kissing me is to always ask for the second date anyway. If she rejects you, if you're thinking, you know, oh my God, I'm not, I'm not sure she likes me anymore. If she wants another date, she didn't kiss me. So is there no feeling there? You ask for the second date. That way you get confirmation on one of your biases. If you either get confirmation that she in fact does not like you and therefore you will not waste your money anymore trying to take her out or you ask her for another date. She says, oh, sure. At which point you're going to be thinking, oh, wait, wait. So she didn't kiss me, but she said yes to the date. Okay, okay, okay. And at this point, you got to figure out what you're going to do. And, and what most guys do is do this. They take a girl on a date and let's say they try to go for that kiss. Well, they're thinking, okay, it didn't happen on this first date, but now it's the second date. And I've learned that second dates, kisses have to happen. And so I have to make that kiss happen. So even though she was rejecting my advances for the kiss on this first date, I know I got to go extra hard on the second date. And since she knows it's the second date and that's when kisses happen, that even though she rejected it, she's going to be open to a kiss on the second date. And I keep trying to stress to you guys, you cannot force women to feel like they're ready to kiss you. What you can do is create situations and scenarios that make her realize that she's having a good time with you, that you actually are interested in getting to know her beyond just the physicalities, and that as a result of all those things, she's starting to feel feelings for you. And it's only when she of her own accord starts feeling feelings that she's going to be open to the idea of you kissing her or her kissing you first and showing initiations, right? So in this case, what happened? He was just there being a cool, calm guy. He knew to be flirty, but not to be going all out for a kiss. The flirty part is the fun part that women enjoy because it's that will they or won't they dynamic. It's the, oh, he's going a little bit above board to show me that he's interested and he's showing me that he thinks of me as a sexual being, but he's not being completely sexual, but that this is also turning me on, right? And so when you do those things, those are the things that women like that make them start to open up and feel things to want to kiss you. And that's all I'm trying to tell you guys is that don't reject outright every single time a woman doesn't kiss you on a first date. If, you, if you're going for that kiss on a first date, I applaud you for making the move. That doesn't mean it's always going to happen. But what have I, what have I also said? I've said that making that move is still important because it lets her know unequivocally that when she feels like she's ready for that kiss to happen, you're already open. So there's no question in her mind about if she should change her mind or not. Like if he hadn't gone for the kiss on the first date, right? They'd be on the second date and she'd be like, oh, I'm having such a good time. I want to kiss him, but uh, you know, I'm a woman. I might be in my head. I'm not sure if I kiss him, if he's ready for it, or I don't know how he feels about me or whatever. So blah, blah, blah. So she would end up being hesitant to do that kiss. But because he already went for it, the, the message of I want to kiss you has already been put out there. All she has to do is say, oh, I think I'm feeling that thing too. And now I got to kiss him. Oh, and then she's thinking, oh, but you know what? I rejected him last time. So I don't want to quite go gung-ho all the way. So what did she do? She did a segue kiss. Yes. She went from being flirty to give him a hug, to give him a nice little peck on the cheek. And then more importantly, when he got the peck on the cheek, he did not overreact. Notice he says, I didn't think too much about it at all because he was just focused on her having the time of her life. But if her having the time of her life just happened to include kissing him, well, he was open to that. And so because he didn't overreact, it made her think in her internally, huh, that nice peck on the cheek was nice. He didn't overreact to it. Well played, sir. You know what? I feel like I want to do even more than just kiss you now because you didn't like go all gung ho and didn't be like, oh my God, that's the best kiss. I got to kiss you now. Like he kept it calm and cool, which is what women want. Because here's the thing. Women don't want their guys to not be calm, cool, and collected because she knows there's going to be times where she's not that. And even when it boils down to kissing, yes, we want you to want to hook up with her and to kiss her. But we don't want you going overboard and showing that you're having any kind of feeling about that. This is goes to this is where being indifferent to the kiss is important because because he was indifferent and wasn't making the kiss a big deal. It allowed her to not make the kiss as big of a deal, which now left her open to doing any kind of kiss, including making out. I would not be surprised at this point if given the trajectory that if he continues to play it this way, he could easily be hooking up with her within the next next date to the next two or three dates. Because again, as long as he's not showing that he's butthurt and that his only agenda is to get to know her in whatever capacity that means, that it gives her the freedom to choose if part of that learning my capacity, whatever, is going all the way with him, all right? So I want to say kudos to this guy, but also thank you guy for listening to what I've been saying on these videos. For the rest of you guys that are wondering how this guy did this, I got videos galore on YouTube. I also got 
uh, coaching program at inter, inter, uh, introvertdatingsuccess.com, as well as ebooks, audiobooks, and programs that will help you figure out the pathway to do these things. Because hey, he's gotten past the second date, he's gotten a kiss, he's close to a hookup, but what happens after that between dates three and 10 that's going to allow him to actually get to the promised land of potentially landing this girl as a girlfriend. And that's the kind of things that I teach in my program extensively if you go to introvertdatingsuccess.com. But thank you guys for keeping us updated and by all means, continue to keep us updated uh, as things progress. I hope things work out absolutely great. That's all I got for now, guys. I am Harry Wilmington. I will catch you guys on the next episode. I'm out. Peace.